everyone. This is Ray Wasawasa from the Wasawasa Show. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope everyone is doing very well and they find themselves and their families in good condition and in good health. Um, I just want to start off, you know, uh, with giving my blessings to all of the Regla de la Osha family, Regla de la Osha all over the world. People know them also as Santeros. Those are my beliefs and my blessings, so I send all my blessings and my love to to you. Um, I also want to start off by saying, you know, rest in peace to all those that uh, died um, from the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, and, um, you know, it's been hard on everyone. As you all know, I, I have also been a, um, a, a person, a family who lost someone to COVID-19. Um, actually, I've lost two individuals so far. Uh, one close, close to my kids, and one close to me. So it's been it's, it's been a very hard week. And you know what we're going to talk about the What's What's show is about the Corona virus and COVID nineteen and how to stay healthy and try to stay clean and just a little bit of my view to my fans and my friends. Okay. Um, but for a quick 10 second silence, let's, you know, please let's give a moment of silence for all those that have been a victim to um, COVID-19 and all those that are, uh, are about to deal with their ultimate uh, possibilities, you know. So I want to give a little moment of silence to all of them. So, you know, it's, it's been tough. It's been rough on everyone. Everyone that has not been working, all those that have been working, and all those kids that are home trying to adapt to the new way of schooling, um, which is <laughs> it's, it's difficult on the parents, it's difficult on the kids. And that's what we're going to talk about real quick, you know, the Corona-19. And this is my opinion. This is my view, uh, not necessarily with the views of anybody around me or uh, related to me uh, as friends, fans, or um, associates. Okay, this is my opinion for what I feel about the coronavirus, um, COVID-19. You know, COVID-19 is a serious illness. It, you know, as we all know, it attacks, you know, your lungs and uh, you get infected and you're, most people die from pneumonia, um, complications of breathing, you know, and if you have ex existing complications, it's, you're in a higher bracket of, you know, of the danger of the red zone of the Corona-19 and you have to be hospitalized. Uh, a, quick, a quick thing about that, you know, and I do it every day and I tell my kids to do it every day is to Breathe in, you know, hold your breath for about 15 to 20 seconds without coughing. If you can do that without coughing, that means your lungs are pretty clear and, you know, you probably just have a cold or a, you know, a, a regular um, flu symptom. So, you know, that's something, an exercise that you can do every day. If you start to feel that you're not able to hold between 15 and 20 seconds without coughing or gasping for air, um, then you're good. But if you do, then I suggest you start calling your immediate doctor, your family doctor, and start uh, preparing yourself for some, um, you know, medication or some um, medical advice from your doctor. And you definitely probably want to get quarantined right away. When it gets a little bit more difficult, you definitely want to, uh, when it gets down to less than 10 seconds, you definitely want to go to the hospital um, to the emergency room because that could save your life. A couple of things, you know, there's a lot, so, there's so much stuff going on about the corona virus. You know, what medications are good, what medications are not good. As we all know, the doctors and the hospitals are right now in test mode. They're um, using different type of medications. They're testing with a lot of uh, uh, other sources and a lot of different um, medical advice from you know, from all over the world, everyone right now all over the world is on testing mode. Some things might work, some things are not. 
you know, there are, are some different applications right now that are being used by doctors um, to, that are showing positive results, okay? But remember that we all don't know how these positive results are going to react later on down the line in life, you know? You know, right now we can all be taking this medication, so different type of medication, but 10 years from now you can hear something like, you know, we all used to, or <laughs> watching TV, well, if you've been taking blah, blah, blah medicine, you know, and you've got cancer. So right now, if they're in testing mode, we, there's no doctor in the world right now that I think is 100% positive of what we're experimenting with, the medication we're using. So those are things that you have to put in mind. Um, and if you do take these medications or test vaccines, just remember that if it saved your life for the next 10 or 15 years, you know, really think about it down the line when you know, the after effects or the effects of the medications you're taking are coming out. You know, this is something that you're experimenting with and this is something that you choose to allow the doctor to um, try to do everything possible to save your life. So think about that. So right now, what I tell everyone, and my advice to you, my fans, my friends, my family, is two things. One, as you know, we're in exper experimental mode and test mode, so the doctors are still not 100% sure, okay? So what I suggest, there's a couple of things that I do know that has been um, pretty positive. You know, one thing is drinking hot tea, drinking hot coffee every morning, um, drinking, you know, drinking some soup, eating some soup, um, having a lot of, um, of hot liquids going down your throat, just in case you do have symptoms, that is the best um, result so far in helping you fight the coronavirus. Also, um, fighting the coronavirus, as you know, you have to get your immune system up. You know, we hear about so many deaths, so many deaths, so many deaths. And, but they don't tell you really how to build up your immune system. And you know, there's a couple of things out there, vitamin C, everybody learned already, vitamin C, you can't find it nowhere. But there are other things, you know, there's garlic. If you have garlic in your, in, in your home, take a teaspoon of garlic every day. That lowers your high blood pressure. If you result, you know, if you have high blood pressure and at the same time it builds up your immune system. So garlic can be used that for that, you know. A teaspoon of vinegar, you know, red vinegar, apple vinegar is, is also it's also good at this moment because it cleans the intoxications of your body and your immune system starts to rebuild itself, you know, and it becomes stronger. Um, lemon, lemon is also a uh, it's also uh, another um, substance, you know, another um, uh, something that you can eat and take. Put it on your lemon. Um, put your lemon and, um, and honey on the tea. Um, take a slice of lemon. Suck on it. You know, it, it builds your immune system. These are not cures. I want to I wanna make it clear, guys. This is not a cure for the coronavirus. What it does is the coronavirus is a virus. And you have to build your immune system beyond your normal immune system to the, as you have it today. You have to put it up, you have to put it at the top. If your immune system is 65%, 75%, you need to put it at 90%, okay? And this is what it is. Most average individual has a 40 to 50% immune system. And that's why we, uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, infectious viruses attack us. We get colds and, and if the flu goes through, you know, the whole world, you know, in, in a couple of days. And people get bad viruses, the stomach viruses. Why? Because everyone has between a 40 to 50 um, immune, um, um, immune system percentage. We all need to stay healthy and bring it up. Now, this ain't to go and buy vegetables like um, <laughs> carrots or green beans. I mean, they all do good. Vegetables are good. But right now, you need to get your immune system as fast as possible into the high levels of percentage, 60, 75%, 80%, 90%. That's where you want your immune system to be right now. So a couple of things. If you can't find um, vitamin C, zinc. Look for some zinc. Look for uh, anything with vitamin C in it. You might find vitamin B or vitamin D or vitamin E with uh, vitamin C. So those things right now are uh, are available at you know CVS, the Dollar Tree, anywhere you could go, Food Lion, supermarkets, 
because everyone took the emergency seat. You know, um, they, everyone has taken, you know, your vitamin C. But there's other vitamins that can build your immune system up, okay? We just think about vitamin C. Uh, avocados. Avocados is good to bring up your immune system. Um, so when you go to the supermarket and you see a couple of avocados, take it. Put it in a sandwich, eat it. It's, it's really good, okay? The whole thing is bringing up your immune system just in case you do catch the corona. Uh, virus, your body is able to fight it. So keep that in mind, okay? It's all about staying healthy right now. And healthy means not the same way we thought about, you know, running, building your muscles up, um, just, you know, eating vegetables and being a veggie. That's not going to happen. That's not the healthy we're looking for. We're looking for the healthy of the, your immune system to raise it up. Raise your immune system to a level that if you Hopefully to God you don't catch the coronavirus. Your body is able to fight it as best as possible so you can get the medical attention that you need, okay? If you're smoking, stop smoking. If you're around smoke, stay away from the smoke. This is the time right now um, to have your lungs clean and as strong as possible. Now, there's a lot of people coughing because of allergies. Me, myself, I walk around with the asthma pump. I'm scared because if I cough, you know, everybody thinks I got the coronavirus already, you know, but at this moment right now, the trees are blooming, the flowers are blooming, you know, and there was so much pollen out there that is coming into our lungs and we have to cough because we have allergies. Guys, I tell those with allergies and allergic to the pollen, wash your car, rinse it out, you know, put a, 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 a face mask on right away, okay? And while you're driving, have it on. It's not because you're protecting yourself from the coronavirus, but you're protecting yourself from the pollen that you breathe in and makes and it breaks down your, your immune system and your lung capacity to breathe. And that is dangerous. So even if you don't have the coronavirus, your lungs are taking in all that pollen and you're reacting to it and it's not healthy. So if you are you know, allergic and you're having a lot of allergies during the season, the best thing to do is stay home. Stay home, or if you do go out, wear a mask while you're out all the time, okay? Because you wanna keep your lungs as clean and as clear as possible. Use your inhaler. You know, those that um, have asthma, use your inhaler at least twice a day. Even if you don't have the symptoms of asthma, use it because that's keeping your lungs clean. If you don't wanna use it twice a day, use it once a day, but try to keep your lungs as clean, as clear as possible during this ap uh, epidemic of the coronavirus, uh, okay? So really think about that, guys, with those with allergies. I'm one of them. I, I try to wash my hands and I try to walk around with a cover. As you see in my um, Facebook, I put that, that mask on <laughs> and I put it on because it's, it's very easy and um, it's easy to take off, it's easy to put on, it stays around my neck. Now why I suggest that we all wear those type of masks is because one, if you have a, 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 a face mask, or one of those medical ones or the ones people are using, you can't wash those and you have to throw that away. And if, if it did catch the virus, okay, you're throwing it away with your hands, boom, you already got it in your hands. So that's not a, a good way to, you know, open on the mask. It's safer, but keep in mind that when you take it off, wash your hands. Just ha get a habit of washing your hands, everything you do. Okay, and the reason I like the pull-up mask, or you know, people are inventing their own um, face mask. Those are better. You know why? Because you can take them off. You can take it home every night, rinse it, wash it, and then you reuse it again for the next day. As with the uh, face mask, it's not a good idea to keep reusing it because if there is virus on the mask already, you're taking it off. You're taking it off what with your hands. So you know, the purpose of wearing that mask. There's no reason if you're not gonna practice good hygiene cleaning with your hands. You have to practice that in everything you do, okay? Um, so, you know, I'm just giving my suggestions, my opinions. If you think about it, you know, the best thing is those masks, okay? Essential workers, I'm an essential worker. I try to keep, you know, people um, safe at home, okay? You know, if there's something wrong with any type of plumbing, any type of heating, any type of AC now that the, 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 the heat is, you know, the temperature is rising, you know, people have to stay home. We're there, you know, you have the firemen, you have the nurses, you have uh, police officers, and if you notice, 
even the police are taking very precautions. They're not even out there, you know, on a regular basis. You know, they're trying to protect themselves. So the same thing, take that as a, as a, as a wake-up call. You're not seeing police, you know, and, and if you do, they're not, they're, their thing in their mind is not to confront with anyone right now um, or harass anybody um, or even enforce any type of laws. It doesn't mean that you're going to go out there and move on going to, uh, you know, a, you know, a robbery spree and all that, but just just remind that everybody in our government is protecting themselves, and we the people have to protect ourselves. There's a lot of stores that have online, um, you know, online purchasing. You know, buy the stuff that you pick up at the store. Food Lion, Walmart, all those stores have it. You need to take advantage of that. Take advantage of it because I've been. I'm an essential worker, and I go to Lowe's. I used to go to Lowe's and there'd be like six people when this epidemic, epidemic started. Now, Lowe's is like a mall. It's the four season mall. Everyone is in there and I don't understand why. Going there with families, going there with little kids, going there with, with, with babies, folks. Lowe's, I understand everybody has a lot of time in their hands at home. But Lowe's, you're trying to attack Lowe's like it's a food, you know, a, a Walmart or uh, four season more and you don't know everyone's touching stuff and, and you're gonna rise the cases of people with coronaviruses you know you need to step back go to the supermarket when you need to go to the store I know it's hard to be home but you need to do it we have Guilford County Alamance Randolph counties have not reached their peak people understand what I'm saying Guilford Alamance and Randolph County have not reached their peak. That means there's people with the coronavirus, okay, that has not, uh, we have, they have not identified all the individuals with the coronavirus. So right now, what has you, you we're watching New York and you see New York is uh, plateauing and it's starting to go down a little, but they reached their peak and they're practicing safe distance and they're, they're dealing with a lot of medicine and they're also on that lockdown. But Guilford County, Alamance, and, you know, these counties, people are still driving and walking around, not respecting the stay home policy, not respecting, you know, the essential workers. And this is gonna cause us to have a hot spot. We're gonna be the next hot spot if we're not careful, if we're not following these um, stay at home, um, suggestions and laws and rules guys stay home because I hate to I hate to see Guilford County Alamance County and Randolph County become a hot spot and we start losing individuals and people and family and friends that we know Guilford County is not that long it's neither is Randolph neither is Alamance so when it hits home it's going to hit home you know and that's 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 sad that's sad so don't take advantage. Don't take this as a joke. Don't take this as, oh, we're safe. No one is safe yet. No one is safe yet, especially if we have not reached our peak. So individual people, please stay home because I believe once Guilford, Alamance, and Randall start hitting its peak, it's going to be a sad thing for everyone. So stay home. Stay home and stay safe. Practice Practice, you know, practice the tips that they give you for um, for cleaning, you know, for staying safe at home. You know, um, one of the things that I wanted to say is, you know, another tip that I have, um, you know, you're at your home, you're cleaning the door knobs of people coming in and out if you have that, okay? Um, when you're driving, especially the essential workers, if you're driving, and even though you have gloves and a mask, okay, when you take off that glove, you should have a bag in your car that you throw away those gloves in, or what you know, disposable gloves. You should be wearing disposable gloves, okay? Take a, a, a spray of um, alcohol or you know your sanitizer, whatever you have, wipes, and wipe your hands right away, okay? And wipe your wheel, the the, the door of your car, and also wipe down the wheel of your driving, your stick shift, whatever. Wipe those things down. Get in the habit of wiping them down every day. Because, like I said, just because you take off your mask, okay, you put your mask down, 
and then you take off your gloves, you put it in the trash, and I hope you're not wearing them again, but the virus that was in the glove is on the handlebar. I mean, the handle of the car door. Anything you've touched with those gloves is a possibility of carrying the coronavirus. So that's why when you take off your gloves, wipe everything down again. You know, if you're an essential worker, you should wipe down your cars, your door handles, your mirror, anything that you touch in your vehicle. You should do that every day because of all it takes is a little contamination. Okay, and boom, there's a, the, you're, you're a, a high target to catch the coronavirus. Uh, okay, another thing that I suggest, okay, which is, um, oh my goodness, um, wow, it, it, it was, it had to, oh, your clothes, you know, when you're coming, I'm sorry, when you're coming in from, work keep your shoes on the outside take off your clothes throw them in a bag if, you, if it's not your laundry day or you don't have your um, you don't have a washer dryer at home put it in a bag seal the bag up okay and um, and if you do have a washer and dryer then you know throw them straight into the washer and dryer and wash your clothes for the family okay um, same thing when you go to the supermarket when you're buying your foods your groceries and whether you have gloves there and you're taking the products that you want, and then you go home, you take off your gloves and you're putting them away. Uh, hello, you know, the, the, whole, the whole point of wearing gloves is to avoid contact with the coronavirus. So therefore, when you get home, wipe your items down, whether it's milk, um, um, canned foods, meat, whatever, plastic, whatever, wipe it down. Just wipe it down, okay? Pass it through some warm water if it's nothing, you know, freezable, okay? Wipe it down and then put it away. Do not just put it away in your home thinking you're safe, okay? That's, you don't know how many people have touched the product that you have now in your house. So take the time. This is why you got to stay at home so like that when you do go out, you have a sheet of the steps you should take to protect yourself, you know? Um, make sure that you wipe down the shopping cart and most places are doing a great job at it but you have to also take a um, how you say this uh, you have to take precautions and in, in, in doing your part you have to take your, you have to do your part okay you have to uh, definitely take your part in doing that um, So, you know, I think I've touched a lot of bases, you know, washing your hands. And that's the that's the number one thing. It's just washing, washing, washing your hands. Another good idea that I suggest for everyone to do is learn to open the door with the hand or do things with the hand that you're not dominant with. Meaning, if you're a righty, try to do things with your left. And if you're a left, try to do things with your right. Wasa, wasa. Why is that for very simple. If you're going to pick your nose, you're going to put something in your mouth, you're going to do something with your eyes, you're going to rub it, you're going to put glasses or whatever it is, you're going to do it with your dominant hand. Okay? But if you're learning how to open the door, um, do other things in, in public with your left hand, your right hand, your dominant hand is the one that's going to touch your face. And the coronavirus can only enter your body through your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. So therefore, you get to wash your hands. You're not using your dominant hand to do the things you usually do. So use your opposite hand, your non-dominant hand, to do a couple of, of you know, the supermarket, your paying, your switching, your your switching money, you're using your ATM card, all those things like that. Try to use you, with your non-dominant hand, okay? Because you're going to touch your face, you're going to touch it with your dominant. And you want to keep your dominant hand as clean and as free as possible. Again, that does not, um, is not a, a, a substitute for the number one thing, which is cleaning your hands. Just clean your hands. Get used to cleaning your hands every time you can. Okay? Um, besides that, you know, stay safe. Be good. You know, wipe things down. All right? Food. And, and products at, at, at the store. The supermarkets, the food lines and everything, they're getting products as fast as they can. 
So when you go to the store, please be considerate to other people. Because there's no reason why you have, you know, 40 boxes of, of, of tissue and, and, you know, 40 packs of pork chops. There's no reason that they have not closed the stores, the, the food industry down, and they're not going to do it, you know. And we have to live. But, yes, there is a point where you have to be considerate of others. Of course the supermarkets are empty. Of course um, uh, food line is empty. Now the supermarket, you know, wh why are they empty? People are saying the food is running out. The food is not running out. It just, we had the whole world go to the supermarkets at the same time. I mean, just think about it. If you have the whole world going into all the Walmarts, all the supermarkets, all the grocery stores and buying buying everything up, of course there's not going to be something, you know, there's not going to be stuff there when you come back next week because everybody went to buy at the same time. So we have to wait till these trucks come with the deliveries of products again to bring it to our, to our supermarkets and our, and our warehouses and so forth. So when you go to the supermarket and so forth, please be considerate for other people, you know? I mean, everybody went and bought paper toilet. I, there's people that have 10 rows of paper toilet, like the coronavirus is giving you the shits. Come on, people, you know? I mean, really think about it, you know? So, you know, those are my couple of tips that I give you to, um, to fight the coronavirus, all right? But I hope that everybody just practices, um, you practice washing your hands, Washing your hands, washing your hands, washing your hands. Try to stay away from touching your face, okay? Until you take go home and wash your hands and take a good bath. Um, on this subject about washing your hands, um, one of the stores that I respect so much, and everybody hears me talk about them all the time, you know, and, and, and I love them to, let, to death. I love Sarah and uh, Alan uh, McDavid. I love them to death, you know, and they always have you know, um, the public and the people and their friends and their families and their community and their minds, they're open. You know, they have the curbside, um, um, you can order online, you can call them and you can pick up. They also have a cashier outside with a glass. You know, I mean, they have a beautiful setup. And uh, one of the things that I do love about it is that they even have a portable sink. So you can wash your hands there um, before uh, uh, receiving service or if you're just passing by and you feel like you want to wash your hands, um, it's, 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 it's there, it's there. So I advise you guys, when you're walking downtown and um, you pass by Terra Blue, say hello, say wassa wassa, um, um, told you about their store and also tell them, you know, if they could take a, you could take a quick second to wash your hands. They are there for the community. And I, and, and I love that about them so much, I, I, I really do. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you their little setup Guys, if you can hear it, you know what I'm saying? Um, their setup is just wonderful. Okay, as you can see, they have the cold orders. They have a little sink on the side. Um, it's just their, their, their setup, uh, people, their setup is just wonderful, you know? So go buy Terra Blue for your, you know, your sage and your spiritual um, items. They are still open. Um, they're there for the community, and we should support um, our community stores that are taking the risk for us to stay open. So, you know, get, you know, stop by and say hello to Terra Blue and, um, and let them know that you heard about it at, you know, at the Wasa Wasa show. Oh, you heard it from Wasa Wasa. <laughs> um, guys, I want to, uh, I am going to put a, <laughs> you know, we hear so many bad things about the coronavirus and all that. And I have to put at least one joke. It, it's hard for me not to crack a joke or, or try to do something funny, but here's a skit from Elijah Brown. He's a comedian. He's been on on the comedy show. He's been on different type of uh, uh, cop, you know, comedy um, clubs. He, you know, he's been on um, Central Comedy, and he's been man. He's been traveling already at a young age. You know, I see him like Kevin Hart. I, you know, starting at a young age, and um, you know, another one that started really early is uh, Dave Chappelle. He reminds me of Dave Chappelle because he started so young and he's funny at this age. So imagine 10 or 15 years from now, you know, he could be the next Chappelle. Um, but, you know, uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a good friend and I want, you know, give him a little second. I want everybody to watch the skit about uh, the coronavirus. This is Elijah Brown. 
Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, bruh. Shit, my man's supposed to be coming through. This nigga taking forever, though. Goddamn. Shit, that's probably him right here. What's good, What's nigga? Up, nigga? That's nigga? Shit. <coughs> Goddamn. Goddamn. Let me, let, let, let me call you. You still need it? Let me call you. I can't do it. I cannot do it. No, no, this is what I'm saying. I get sick either, okay? My immune system is very weak. I ain't gonna make it, okay? I didn't have the flu. It was not pretty. You dig what I'm saying? Man, look, man. I was just trying to get the 4 for 20. 4 for 20? Yeah. 4 for 20? Yeah. Nigga, have you heard of the corona? What? Nigga, what? You have a blessed day. You take care. Stay easy. Some Go ahead. Shit. So, guys, you know, that's Elijah Brown, you know. <laughs> He's a, he's an upcoming comedian. He's doing skits now. He's done a couple of them for various shows. So you know, go to his page, Elijah Brown, and you know, give him a, you know the support that he needs. He's a young. He's from here. He's from here, Greensboro. He's an upcoming you know comedian. Like I said, he's been, he's been doing really really good. He started at the age of fifteen, and he's just he's just phenomenal. <laughs> um, you guys know that I've been promoting. You know, I do promotion music. I do a lot of comedian skits. I you know I promote. Everyone that's you know uh, that's in good faith and wants to do something good for the community. Um, I've also I have a friend, um, and this is a different type of um, uh, product here, and that I want to introduce. You know, uh, I have a friend. His name is William Boyd, and he does these uh, he does these toys with um, pipe pipe cleaners, and you know he has a good name for them. You know, it's, it's the Sten um, Sten family, um, and this kid, uh, he can make you a doll or your whole family with pipe cleaners. <laughs> exactly, pipe cleaners. No one would think that. But this kid, he has a great imagination. He has a uh, special talent. And I advise everybody to, you know, um, go to his webpage, uh, STEM Friends, okay? STEM Friends, and look at it, especially now that you're at home and your kids have nothing to do. You know, this is a good way to uh, entertain them. He has his TikTok uh um, page he has his YouTube page and there's stories um, to follow so it's like an animated thing um, so you know parents that are looking for you know their kids to do something during this time this is one of the web pages um, on Facebook stem friends that you can have your kids look at peacefully and quietly and start learning about the stem friends and the creation that William Boyd has so let me play a little of uh, some of his um, his uh, STEM friends family, from the STEM friends family. This is the STEM friends. Welcome to Wonderland, we've got it all. Potions and pastries that make you grow tall. Forests and cottages, castles and carts that can talk. So this is, those, those were just a couple of the, you know, the creations he had and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna uh, I think I'm gonna play that one more time just to make sure that uh, uh, man, that we play that correctly welcome to Wonderland we've got it all potions and pastries that make you grow tall Forests and cottages, castles and carts that can talk. There you go, folks. Again, that's them, friends. Look for him on Facebook, um, YouTube. He has his YouTube channel. So, you know, um, that's, that's something to keep your kids busy during this time of um quarantine and a little bit of isolation keep their minds you know in that imaginary stage and that's what we need to do we need to teach our kids now because we don't know how long this is going to last that this is was our world back in the days you know luckily they still have internet but when i was growing up there was no internet and we had to go outside and even though you know we was a little bit i would say you know um distance because we were playing baseball you know we was playing um uh, football in the streets and yeah that was contact but I think this is uh, a step back for me you know Mother Earth Auto is telling us all that hey it's time for us to go back 
in time and go back to the way the world was created to be, to be free, to be clean, to respect nature and to respect flowers and animals and so forth. So I think this is this is a wake up call. You know, everybody's been waiting for the global warming, the global warming, the global warming. Something's gonna happen with global warming. This is the global warming, ladies and gentlemen. This is the global warming. This is the world, you know, this is the world, this is earth, this is mother nature saying, hey, I'm not gonna take no more, you know? I'm not gonna take no more. So guys, think about that and think about, you know, the way we treat uh, old old Mother Earth and Mother Nature and we should start learning how to respect ourselves and the elements of this world a little bit better, you know? Um, my next uh, my next little video and um, my next uh, uh, section here is about you know it's about music you know i love music and i like to promote um our you know upcoming rappers and rb singers and so forth but a couple of you know in, in march we had a um who's got talent you know uh 2020 sponsored by tac university you know go check them out check out their website tac university and um and we had a competition in the winter and we also had a runner-up, which is uh, Xavier Sawyer. And Xavier Sawyer um, is remarkable. Even though he uh, came in runner-up, he continued his, um, his, his dream and his goals, and he did not let go of, of that inspiration. And because he didn't let go, you know, it's amazing. He was signed to a label, and his, uh, his little video just came out. It was just, you know, a pre-video. Uh, pre um, we're, we're, we're waiting on the... Um, the the remake of the video and the full remake of the song but he did drop the song and it came out today on Easter Sunday you can look it on on YouTube Facebook um, Spotify um, on, on cloud you know um, so it, he dropped his his, his little uh, music on um, need love um, today and when I interviewed him and we had a little conversation about need love um, what he was saying about Need Love was that he's tired of relationships these days because relationships these days don't mean anything. You know, they don't have no no uh, discipline. It has no loyalty. It, it, it's it's at a point where individuals get together and they hurt each other instead of loving each other and growing a, a relationship. And he just got fed up. Um, and he wrote this song about it, you know, and, you know, it's just a preview. If you guys want to listen to the real thing, the whole complete video and the song, you know, look for him on Xavion on his YouTube channel. Or you could hit Wasa Wasa show on the YouTube channel also. And I'll be putting it up, you know, for everyone can see it, my fans, my friends and family. Um, that's another thing too, guys. If you go to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't just like you know, my um, post on Facebook, go over there and subscribe because we're going to be having um, a lot of things going on. Wasa Wasa is back. The Wasa Wasa show is back. And I'm taking this time that we're in quarantine, but I'm still essential to bring some news and some fun to you. So here's a little uh, preview of the song Need Love by Xavier. <laughs> Is it true that you got a man on the side? Why should I believe you if I can't call you mine? What can I do? I'm gonna erase the memories that we had. You had me looking down, thinking we're a perfect man. What can I say? You always said you love me, but in reality, you just wanna play me. Um, so that's uh, Xavion's new hit, Need Love. Look for him on his Facebook, um, Xavion Sawyer, or his YouTube channel, Xavion. Um, and I hope you like his music. He's an upcoming Greensboro. Oh, sorry, he's not from Greensboro. He's from High Point. Um, 
you know, uh, check him out. He's but he's still local. He's one of the triad. He's here from North Carolina. Um, and give him his support. You know, we need to support our, our young rappers, R&B singers, our country guys. We need to support more of our youth and our young individuals so that they can grow up and be the future of this world because the future is changing. The world is changing. And with that, I say, respect the world, respect yourself, stay clean, stay safe. I love you all. Happy Easter. And this is live from the Wasa Wasa Show. Wasa Wasa. Wasa Wasa, y'all. <laughs> Peace. I love you all. Bye.